Welcome to the headquarters of the Seventh-day Adventist World Church. Opened in 1989, this building, known as the General Conference, houses five separate entities. Please join us as we take an inside look around the building. We start our tour in the Visitor's Centre. Here you can view a timeline of our church's history and watch videos on initiatives sponsored by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Next we come to The King is Coming by Victor Issa. This sculpture has ten figures representing different regions of the world. Each figure is made from bronze and weighs about as much as a person of the same size would weigh. The angel represents the guardian angel of the child it is carrying. Each morning employees gather here in the auditorium for worship. This space seats up to 800 people and is used for meetings, conferences and video productions. We are now entering the atrium where many events like concerts are held. Also here is the Reebok Memorial Library which houses over 14,000 books on a variety of subjects. The Blessed Hope by Nathan Green was unveiled during the General Conference session in Atlanta in 2010. The painting is part of an art gallery called Eden to Eden that church leaders are planning for the headquarters. Finally, this globe lights up to represent each of the 13 divisions and over 130 unions around the world. This is the Hall of History, celebrating the 150 years of the church's history. Adventist Risk Management provides solutions for minimizing risk within the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The Adventist Development and Relief Agency is a humanitarian arm of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, providing emergency relief to communities all around the world. Here we have the North American Division, which represents the Church in the United States and Canada. At noon each day, employees gather here in this chapel to pray for each prayer request they receive. Now we come to the Harry Anderson display, which includes a self-portrait and his personal easel. Harry Anderson is well known for his illustrations in the Bible Story series and also secular publications. We are now in the office of President Ted N. C. Wilson, who was elected during the General Conference session in 2010. Also located here are the offices of the nine General Vice Presidents. The building also includes the offices of hundreds of General Conference employees who work to ensure religious liberty, education, health care and more for millions of Adventists worldwide. Hope Channel is the newest extension of the General Conference building. Hope Channel is the official television network of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. This is the studio where they record popular shows like Let's Pray, Cross Connection and Hope Sabbath School. Another studio in the building is a communication department studio. Each week, ANN video is recorded here. Finally, we come to the White Estate. Here we have the painting, The Christ of the Narrow Way by Alfred Lee. This mural illustrates Ellen White's first vision and shows a narrow path on which believers in the three angels' message of Revelation 14 are traveling toward the holy city. If you are hungry after your tour, you can eat in our completely vegetarian cafeteria. The cafeteria serves employees and visitors every day from 11.30 to 1 p.m. If you would like to visit us in person, you can make an appointment by visiting Adventist.org.